Dropshipping is getting more competitive every single year and it's very important to stay ahead of the curve and know what's next. Not just knowing about winning products, constructing a product, and how to create ads, but also being able to know how to read your campaign metrics. Lately, Facebook has not been tracking your purchases correctly and it's been inefficient. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually know where your purchases are coming from and the platform that I'm gonna go ahead and use and how it's gonna to correlate to your ads manager and to your Shopify store as well. What's up y'all, Trey here. Before we hop into it, as you guys know, we go ahead and give out a free consulting call every single week to you guys. And then you have to do three steps. First things first, Go ahead and like this video as we put these videos out every single week to go ahead and give you guys as much as valuable as we can. Second, subscribe to this channel to catch each and every single video that we put out every single week. Third, and comment the word free with your biggest takeaway from this video that you got. Next, I'll be announcing the winner of this free consulting call somewhere in this video, so make sure you stay tuned if you wanna find out who you are if that was you. When it comes to being able to know when to scale your ads and have crazy results within your ads manager, knowing when to cut and knowing when to leave your metrics on is very important. So after countless hours of doing research and conducting numerous third-party tracking apps, we have found a solution for you guys to know when to cut your ads manager that will help you out too. What is it called? UTMs. What does UTM stand for? Urgent Tracking Module. What do UTMs do? They help you identify traffic coming from your store to your ads manager and help you know when and how and which ad set, which campaign that they're actually being tracked in. It's very important to know where exactly your purchase is coming from. So watch the next few minutes of showing this ads manager that I'm gonna go ahead and set up to set up the UTMs for you to know where your purchases are coming from. But before I get into showing you how to set up UTMs, if you have any questions or any concerns on how to start getting your journey started within e-commerce, definitely reach out to us on Instagram, at Supreme Ecom, DM us the word YouTube so we can reach back out to you and get your journey started any way as possible. Here are some key things that you need to make sure that you have before you insert your UTMs into your campaign. One, no restricted ad accounts or any Facebook accounts. Two, a brand new thumbnail and a creative to start your cold audience. And the most and very important factor of all, setting up a brand new campaign and not using an existing campaign at all. So as you can go ahead and see, I have conducted a cold audience interest campaign, which then I'll be go ahead and include my UTMs. So as you can go ahead and see, I have included my campaign name, which is cold audience testing. I scroll down. I have my campaign budget of $50 included. Go ahead and go to the ad set level, which I included the name. I'm gonna go ahead and also go ahead and set in the pixel. Conversion events gonna be purchased. Boom, scroll down. I have set the start date to be the next day at midnight. Making sure it's at midnight. Show more options, include the ad spend limit of $5 for the daily minimum right here. So each ad set spends $5 no matter what. Scroll down, include my top four locations, United States. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, just like that. Scroll down a little bit. I'm my age, let's do 21 and up right there. And now we have that completed. So here's the most and very most important step of the process setting up UTMs is the ad level. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit. As you can go ahead and see, I have the primary text. I'm gonna go ahead and include my video as well. First video, then my thumbnail. Primary text is here, headline, I did a discount 50% off. Scroll down a little bit. My call to action is going to be that shop now right here because you want to have customers actually buy your product. All right, as you can go ahead and see, now this is the very most important step of putting the UTMs, which is that ad level, right? So first, to go ahead and get started, I'm gonna go ahead and click on build a URL parameter right here. As you can go ahead and see, there's four different levels. You have campaign source, campaign medium, campaign name, and campaign content. So first, what I'm gonna go ahead and do for campaign source, we're not concluding anything. Don't worry about campaign source. Go to campaign medium. For the campaign medium, it's actually gonna be that ad name right here. So click on add name. And then for the campaign name, it's gonna be campaign name right here. And then for campaign content, I'm gonna go ahead and select ad set name right there. 
So I'll scroll down a little bit. Now, as you can go ahead and see, they have the UTMs in here included in my domain, in my URL now. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. So like, as you click apply, as you can go ahead and see, the website URL has codes in it. as the UTM medium, UTM campaign, UTM content. So now that you're able to go ahead and actually preview your URL, and then you see the URL is a lot longer than before. So now you can go ahead and see where exactly your purchase come from, either campaign level or as that ad, whatever level you can actually see where the purchase came from. So now that I've shown you this, I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example. So I'm gonna go to one of the ads manager right here. I'm gonna go to right here, you see one dermatology cold audience right here, boom. No purchases included in here, right? So now that I have set the UTMs in there, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Shopify store, which then I'm gonna go to the analytics section, go to view report, I'm gonna scroll down. Now, just like you set up your ads manager columns, just like you do, I'm gonna go ahead and add columns in here, edit columns. First, make sure you select sessions converted, scroll down and go ahead and select each and every single UTM that you do see. So UTM campaign content, UTM campaign medium, UTM campaign name, UTM campaign source, UTM campaign term. So then, now that it has selected that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, scroll over to the right as well, and click on sessions converted. As you can go ahead and see, the same exact asset name, same exact campaign within my ads manager, dermatology, as you can go ahead and see that I showed you in my ads manager, now I'm showing you on Shopify, scroll over to the right, it actually has one session converted. As within the ads manager, it shows no sessions converted. But now with the UTMs included in my Shopify, it does show that I actually have a purchase from that specific ad set, specific campaign, specific ad level. Now that we have included the UTMs into your ads manager, now you're able to go ahead and read where your purchases are coming from within your campaigns. So no more, oh, where should I scale? Oh, I don't know where to scale. Oh, could I cut this? Now you know exactly where to cut. Now you know where exactly to scale. Now this is gonna help you maximize the most profit that you can receive within your ads manager. There you have it guys. That's the same exact method that I use within my ads manager to set up my UTMs so I know where my purchases are coming from. But before we get going, let's go ahead. I'm gonna announce the winner of the free consulting call from last week. So the winner is actually gonna be David Baker. That's right, you heard it again, David Baker. Congrats on winning your free call. Make sure to reach out to Supreme underscore Ecom on IG so we can go ahead and get you scheduled and we can cover anything that you have questions on, store designs, product research, UTMs, anything that you have questions on and get you started on your e-commerce journey as well. Now that I provided you guys this value, I hope you guys are staying consistent and persistent with applying the knowledge that I gave you in this video. Supreme Ecom wishes you nothing but success within 2022 this is trey and i'll catch y'all next time they gonna want a piece when you got it like that like jake said we gonna spend it get it right back stack that internet money to the site crash they on